Boise State in their road red uniforms. Manny Bates will tip it up against Stephon Mitchell, and we are underway. Control goes to the Wolfpack to start this game. Mitchell looked to drive. Now back out to Rich Kelly. Mitchell for three again. This time he gets it to drop, and BC's on the board. Yeah, really, it's been, you know, one of those type seasons. A lot of teams have gone through it, but recently they've been hit really hard uh, due to the uh, COVID pandemic. So certainly uh, they're happy to be back on. Eyes advantage with Manny Bates. They're trying to post him. They just got to be patient and see if you can work the ball around and get him some post touches. There's Allen, Thomas Allen, the transfer from Nebraska. The board, here comes Braxton Beverly in NC State. Long three for Cam Hayes. Drains it. We're all even. This right here, great transition offense. Nice little drag screen. By Allen thought about shooting the three. Gets it into Helms. Helms pulls the trigger and knocks it down. Allen too strong on the three. Moore couldn't handle the rebound. Now in the break. Well, this time, Felder isn't going to miss that one. Steal by Kelly. He'll take it the distance. Gets a shot blocked by Allen. Beautiful play defensively that time by Thomas Allen. And here comes the Wolfpack on the drive. Beautifully by Shaquille Moore. Moore trying to get it inside to Bates. He does. Bates with an easy two-foot hook shot. Wolfpack Can't looking to push, but then slow it down. Yeah, you can't ask for a better look if you're Boston College in the paint, and that's twice now Manny Bates has gotten great post position. Great steal here by the Wolfpack in the backcourt, and Allen finishes. It's going to be as simple as this. When they break pressure, uh, it's a simple make or miss. They're going to have to start making some of these open looks they have. And Point for BC in nearly four minutes in this game as they're just trying to make sure this doesn't get away from them in the first half. Funderburk down low. Mitchell challenged the first shot, but Funderburk got it back and hit the stick back. Here, NC State got to shoot the ball because right now it's just been too easy uh, for Funderburg and also Bates to get post position. That's just too easy. So, again, you got to make a decision. Funderburg facing the bucket, skip pass over the top. Beverly for three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. On the drive. The freshman Moore. BC started this game up five to nothing. Since then, they've been outscored 33 to three and another turnover forced. A nice outlet pass and a good finish by Shaquille Moore, who's having an outstanding first half. Langford Brothers against what NC State and their style. Uh, certainly, this is of the recipe and of the really not much else to say. They're missing shots and then they're unable to defend the post. Key for three. He knocks one down. That ends a streak of beyond the arc for BC. And a much needed three. On the other end though, we get an answer from Shaquille Moore who is just having the game of his life so far. Make no mistake about it, our backcourt, um, they need to pick up the production and start giving us some offensive output. And more four for four from the floor, including his only three attempts. So, loose ball picked up by that man again. Moore, will he take it the distance? He does. 11 points now in the first half for Moore. He's working on Beverly. Back up top to Mitchell. He'll look to drive, and he does, and gets to the 10. Boston College with another opportunity to try to get something going offensively. Felder with the catch, knocks down the three. I'd expect that happens to a lot of teams, but BC doesn't want to shoot 24% again in a half. Long three knocked down by Rich Kelly. Four on three for NC State. Boy, Shaquille Moore has had such a great first half. He thought about it and then thought better. Thunderbird down low, great position. Now Shaquille Moore will not get credit for that. We'll put it in play here for NC State. Obviously, Coach Keats is not in any hurry to push the pace up 20. Beverly trying to get it down low to Bates, and he does. Who finishes? What a pass by Braxton Beverly. Into Helms, who's been relatively quiet in this game, all things considering. He was so amazing coming in. Now steps back, and just as I say that, hits the jumper. Great 
Good ball movement. Helms in the corner. He knocks down a three. And man. Gives it off. And Shaquille Moore, boy, he's having a huge day now. 13 points for Moore. Fantastic drive up and under. Got by Shaquille Moore and got the deuce. Still 15 to shoot. Good ball movement. Moore for three. Knocks it down. This kid, what a game. 16 for Shaquille Moore. It's not a guy out there just dribbling, trying to create for himself. Uh, guys are getting into the paint and then setting up their teammates for some open looks. Kelly knocks down a three himself. Stick up for Moore's three on the other end. A little scarier than it was, but good to see him still in the game for NC State. Yeah, and certainly if you're NC State, you know, can they'll afford any more injuries. So uh, you're right, certainly a good sign to have him back out on the court. Here at turnover, this is after a block from Shaquille Moore. Offensively and defensively, there's number three. So Cam Hayes comes off the uh, injury and hits a bucket. Kelly trying to get it through the trees. Funderburg tried to get the block, and that enabled Felder free reign on the offensive rebound. Felder, he got shut off. Mitchell, that's a nice move. Can't finish, but Felder is there for another putback. And that's all you can ask for if you're Jim Christian coming off the long break. Are your guys trying to play their way through, trying to play hard and go as long as they can. Moore, another three-pointer for Moore. He's got 19. Langford brothers being out really, uh, again, in this game against NC State. Uh, really, you're in an uphill battle. And then this right here, uh, Funderburg continues. Up a little bit, tried to force it, couldn't get it to go. Moore will push it up front to Allen. Funderburg, great position again. Now he gets it down low, good position, and he finishes with the left. Williams, pull up jumper nicely. Really almost perfect from the field, and you know, I think also to go along uh, with that, the assist, the unselfish play by all of the guards really has been impressive for NC State. Thomas Allen now working it around the perimeter. Here's Helms. Nice, quick on the baseline to get by. Mitchell with the layup. You know, really lack of a playing time. When you take that long off and then you're going up against a hot player like Helms, uh, you're going to struggle. But Jalen Gibson getting some minutes, the true freshman. Out of Zebulon, North Carolina. And a blocking call on the drive. Seeing some of those photos right there. Just legendary. Right here, NC State with the big lead over BC, a 30-point game. He's looking to make something happen with this four to shoot, and he doesn't get it to go, but Jalen Gibson does. Gibson on the board. Cam Hayes drains the jumper. So this is what Kevin Keats wanted. Uh, he wanted more production from his backcourt, and they have answered that call this afternoon. It really has been a balanced performance. Moore was there for the putback. Wasn't able to get it to Heath amongst the trees. Two buckets in a row now for Jay Heath. Heath now will look to push. He's six points in a hurry. Going to be a guy that is going to have to put up big numbers for Boston College if they want to have a chance to win games in the ACC. Now breaking out here will take a three and hit it. Moore now on the drive, loses it. Jonathan Noel now pushing it for Boston College. One of the walk-ons on this team, Andrew Kenny, hits the three. They do all the work with really no guarantee. Most of them go into it knowing they'll probably never play in an ACC game. And you know, again, this is just a reward for them, all the work they put in on the scout team. So they're able to get some minutes in an ACC game. The first bench points of the day, that last three, and another one from Andrew Kenny. So a couple of threes for Kenny. Yeah, it is. They, they must get back healthy. Uh, you know, 
look, make no mistake about it, uh, when you have that time off and then you come into it with just five scholarship players, certainly you're going to struggle.